Hello everyone, you are watching Sahib Academy. If you like our videos, then please subscribe to our channel and also hit the bell icon for the regular updates and also follow us on Instagram, Sahib Academy. Now let's go to the video. Hi everyone, this is the fourth video of Valuation of Goodwill chapter and in this video, we are going to solve this problem with the capitalization method, right? And capitalization method can be classified into capitalization of average profit and capitalization of super profit. But to understand the capitalization method properly, you must know average profit method as well as super profit method. So if you don't know average profit and super profit, then please watch your previous videos, right? In which we have solved problem of average profit in detail and we have discussed the super profit method also and we have also solved a problem on super profit method, okay? So if you don't know, then please watch the previous video. Otherwise, just ignore it and continue with this video, fine? So in this video, as I said, we are going to solve this problem with the capitalization method. So we must understand how this method works. So let's see how this method works, fine? Let's do that. To understand the capitalization method, let's take this example. Let's say you have a friend and let's say your friend has a business, fine? Your friend has a business and let's say he has invested 12 lakh capital into this business. How much? 12 lakh capital into this business. And let's say the normal rate of return of this industry is 10%, okay? Normal rate of return is 10%, fine? And your friend, he is earning profit of 1 lakh 40,000. He's earning profit of 1 lakh 40,000. So you thought, let's open a same business in the same industry right same kind of business so you also open the same business fine and then you also employed the capital you also invested the capital of 12 lakh same as your friend fine but you are a new player in the market right so you have earned a profit of 1 lakh 20 thousand right NRR normal rate of return is 10 percent so in the first year you have made a profit of let's say 1 lakh 20 thousand 10 percent of 12 lakh that is 1 lakh 20 thousand simple right so this is what has happened right but your friend is earning 1 lakh 40 thousand you see this he is earning more than the normal profit so he is earning super profit of 20 thousand you can see that right 1 lakh 20 thousand is the normal profit yes nrr normal profit but your friend he is earning 1 lakh 40 thousand so you can clearly see that he is earning super profit of 20,000 yes so now in this method in this capitalization method what we do is we take that super profit yes and we see how much extra capital is required to earn super profit at NRR for example how much extra capital would you require to earn the same profit as your friend let's understand this see take the super profit that is 20,000 fine 20,000 to value the goodwill of that firm Take the super profit into 100 by NRR. You just flip the formula of normal profit. You see, you just flip the formula of normal profit. 100 by NRR, 100 by normal rate of return. So 20,000 into 100 by 10, you get 2 lakh. You get 2 lakh. That means the value of this business, the goodwill of this business is 2 lakh. So you would require 2 lakh extra capital to earn the same profit which your friend is earning see you would require you have invested 12 lakh capital right so to earn 1 lakh 40 thousand profit you would require 2 lakh capital extra that's what i said right how much extra capital is required to earn super profit at nrr so 2 lakh extra capital is required so 14 lakh capital is required if you invest 14 lakh capital 14 lakh into nrr 14 lakh into 10 by 100 then you will earn how much you will earn 1 lakh 40 thousand same as your friend yes nrr is 10 percent right so 14 lakh into nrr into 10 by 100 then you will also earn 1 lakh 40 thousand you would require 2 lakh capital extra so that is the goodwill of this business your friend's business 2 lakh okay because of that 2 lakh he is earning super profit of 20 thousand because of that goodwill okay value of the goodwill fine so this is what we do in capitalization method we are talking about capitalization of super profit okay capitalization of super profit now see here i have the formula see capitalization method capitalization of super profit see how we calculate the goodwill goodwill is equal to super profit okay whatever the business has earned super profit into 100 by nrr 100 by nrr means see in normal profit formula what we did average capital employed 
into NRR by 100. Here we have just flipped the formula, isn't it? In normal profit formula, it was NRR by 100. Here we have taken 100 by NRR. We are finding out how much capital is required, right? How much extra capital is required to earn the super profit at NRR. So that is what we are going to do. We are going to flip the formula. Simple, right? So this is what you have to do to calculate the goodwill according to the capitalization of super profit. Fine. And then we have capitalization of average profit. In capitalization of average profit formula is slightly different. See, here the goodwill formula is capitalized value of business minus capital employed. What is the capitalized value of business? minus capital employed how much capital has been employed in the business how much capital is invested in the business fine this is not average capital employed okay this is the closing capital employed this is net assets okay capital employed means net assets fine see here we have it see this is what capital employed not average capital employed capital employed fine okay so capitalized value minus capital employed and then you have to calculate the capitalized value first because capitalized value will not be given in the question right so to calculate the capitalized value formula is very simple since this is capitalization of average profit so capitalized value formula is average profit same like this formula okay see average profit into 100 by nrr average profit into 100 by nrr okay so average profit into 100 by nrr here also we have flipped the formula of normal profit so average profit into 100 by nrr this will give us the capitalized value and then you will take the capitalized value and you will subtract it with the capital employed which will be given in the question but in your exam this method will not come okay mostly in the exam they will give this method fine so these are the formulas of capitalization method now we are going to solve the problem by these methods okay so let's solve the problem now here is the question C the following particulars are available in respect of the business carried on by a firm right here they have given us a profit C the profit of the past four years are 2016 12,000 2017 24,000 2018 18,000 and 2019 26,000 so they have given us the profits of past four years fine and then they have said the firm has average capital invested rupees 1 lakh 20 thousand so they have given us the average capital employed that is 1 lakh 20 thousand and then they have said the pure rate of return on capital investment is 8 percent so they have given us pure rate of return okay rate of return normal rate of return is 8 percent and then they have said and risk premium expected is 2 percent so whenever risk premium something like this rates are given right risk rates you have to add it with these pure rates okay then only you will find the normal rate of return so here in this question you have to add eight percent and two percent and that would be your normal rate of return which is ten percent eight plus two is ten percent and ten percent will be your normal rate of return okay because this eight percent is pure rate of return you have to add that you have to add that eight percent with two percent and get the normal rate of return so the normal rate of return is 10 percent and then they have said the landlord has decided to increase the rent of the shop building by 2000 per annum so this is what this is future expense right landlord has decided to increase the rent of the shop building so this is a future expense so this has to be subtracted from the profits of the past years okay and then they have said calculate the value of goodwill of the business by capitalization of super profit method okay so we'll solve this problem with the capitalization of super profit method okay let's do that let's solve this problem now let's solve this problem with the capitalization of super profit method see the formula goodwill formula is super profit into 100 by nrr so we need first super profit but to calculate the super profit what do we need to calculate the super profit see the super profit formula average profit minus normal profit so we need average profit as well as normal profit so let's calculate average profit first see how do we calculate average profit total profit of the past years divide by number of years right here we have been given the past profits 2016 12,000 24,000 18,000 and 26,000 we have to take all that okay and add them up and then divide it by 4 why 4 number of years are 4 right 1 2 3 4 so 4 years divide by 4 you get 20,000 as the average profit you get 20,000 as the average profit 
Now, we have been given an adjustment in the question, right? The landlord has decided to increase the rent of the shop building by rupees 2000, 2000 per annum. So this is what? This is a future expense. Now, what do we do of future expenses? Future expenses, right? Future expenses are subtracted from each of the year, right? From all the years, they are subtracted. Or, or what you can do is, you can subtract that future expense once from the average profit okay you can also do that that's the same thing okay subtracting from each and every year or subtracting it from average profit that is the same thing so we are going to subtract that future expense from the future expense from the average profit fine so average profit minus future expense 20,000 minus 2,000 2,000 is the future expense right 2,000 per annum so we will subtract 2000 and we will get 18000 as the adjusted average profit so adjusted average profit is 18000 fine so this will be our future maintainable profit or you can say average adjusted profit or you can say average profit okay so this is now our adjusted average profit fine and then we have to calculate the normal profit see normal profit how will we calculate here we have been given the average capital employed yes average capital employed and the average capital employed is 1,20,000. So we have to take that normal profit is equal to average capital employed into normal rate of return divided by 100. Now, what is the normal rate of return? In the question, it is said the pure rate of return is 8% and then 2% is risk rate. So you have to add them together. That would be your normal rate of return. That is 10%. Fine. So 1,20,000 into 10 by 100. 8 plus 2, 10 by 100, you will get 12,000 as the normal profit. You will get 12,000 as the normal profit. Simple, right? 1 lakh 20,000 into 10 percent that is equal to 12,000. Simple. And then what you need to do? And then you need to calculate the super profit. How will you do that? Super profit formula is average profit minus normal profit. We have just calculated the average profit that is 18,000. You have to take the adjusted one, right? So 18,000 minus the normal profit. Normal profit is 12,000. So minus 12,000, you get 6,000 as the super profit. Now we have almost solved the problem. We just have to capitalize the super profit, right? So the formula to do that is super profit into 100 by NRR, right? Super profit into 100 by NRR. So super profit into 100 by NRR, super profit is 6,000, 6,000 into 100 divide by 10 so 60000 is the answer so 60000 is the value of goodwill okay 60000 is the goodwill of this business fine so this is how you use the capitalization method to capitalize the super profit and calculate the goodwill fine simple right now let's see how to do capitalization of average profit right we'll see one more problem now here is a simple problem to understand how to calculate the goodwill by capitalization of average profit now we have already seen capitalization of super profit and we have solved a problem right now let's understand how to calculate the goodwill by capitalization of average profit see here is the question first they have given us the average profit average profit is already given in the question so you don't have to calculate it is given as rupees ten thousand fine and then normal rate of return is given that is 10 percent normal rate of return is 10 percent and then they have given us capital employed this is not average capital employed okay this is capital employed this is closing capital on the balance sheet date right so this is the closing capital it is also called as net assets fine so 80,000 is the capital employed it is given in the question now let's see the formulas how to calculate see goodwill is equal to capitalized value minus capital employed now capital employed is given in the question but not the capitalized value we have to calculate the capitalized value how do we do that see capitalized value is equal to we are capitalizing the average profit understand we are capitalizing the average profit so take the average profit multiply it with the 100 by nrr same how you did it over here also right but here directly you got the goodwill but here you are not getting goodwill like that first you need capitalized value and then use capitalized value and subtract it with the capital employed then you will get the goodwill understood so here we have to find the capitalized value so let's find out the capitalized value capitalized value of average profit see average profit into 100 by nrr right what is the average profit average profit is 10,000 yes 
10,000 into 100 by 10, you get 1 lakh as the capitalized value. Capitalized value is 1 lakh. Fine. So here, what are we doing? We are calculating the capital that is required to earn the average profit. That is the concept of this method. Okay. Calculating the capital behind the profit. Understood? Right. So now to calculate the goodwill, the formula is we just saw, right? Capitalized value minus capital employed. So capitalized value, we just found out 1 lakh. So take that 1 lakh minus capital employed, the closing capital that is 80,000. The actual, this is the actual capital employed, okay, 80,000. And this is the capitalized value. So 1 lakh minus 80,000, you get 20,000 as the value of the goodwill. Simple, right? First, you capitalize the average profit and then subtract that capitalized value from capital employed, you get the goodwill. It's very simple. It's very, very simple. The formulas are also very simple. See, super profit formula is goodwill is equal to super profit into 100 by NRR. I mean the capitalization of super profit formula. But here directly you get the goodwill and here you have to subtract. Okay. Here first you capitalize the average profit and then subtract to find out the goodwill. That's all you have to do. Simple, right? Okay.